Roger Yan Chen Chen, simplified Chinese, Qian Yang Jian, traditional Chinese, Qian Yang Jian, Pinyin, Qian Yang Jin, February 1, 1952 to August 24, 2016, was a Chinese American biochemist. He was a professor of chemistry and biochemistry at the University of California, San Diego, and was awarded the 2008 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his discovery and development of the green fluorescent protein, in collaboration with organic chemist Osamu Shimamura and neurobiologist Martin Chalfi. Chen was also a pioneer of calcium imaging. Topic: <laughs> Early life. Chen was born in New York, in 1952. He grew up in Livingston, New Jersey and attended Livingston High School there. His Han Chinese family was originally from Hangzhou, China. Hsue Chu Chen, his father, was a mechanical engineer had excelled academically and graduated at the top of his university class. Chen suffered from asthma as a child, and as a result, he was often indoors. He spent hours conducting chemistry experiments in his basement laboratory. When he was 16, he won first prize in the nationwide Westinghouse Talent Search with a project investigating how metals bind to thiocyanate. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Education. Chen attended Harvard College on a National Merit Scholarship, where he was elected to Phi Beta Kappa as a junior. He graduated summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Chemistry and Physics in 1972. According to his freshman year roommate, economist and Iowa politician Herman Kornbach, "...it's probably not an exaggeration to say he's the smartest person I ever met a nd I have met a lot of brilliant people." After completing his bachelor's degree, Chen joined the Physiological Laboratory at the University of Cambridge in Cambridge, England with the aid of a Marshall Scholarship, and resided at Churchill College, Cambridge. He received his Ph.D. in physiology in 1977 for research on the design and use of organic chemical tools in cellular physiology formally supervised by Richard Adrian in the Department of Physiology and assisted by Andy Holmes, Jerry Smith and Jeremy Sanders in the Department of Chemistry. Topic. Research and career Following his Ph.D., Chen was a research fellow at Gonville and Keyes College, Cambridge from 1977 to 1981. He was appointed to the faculty at the University of California, Berkeley, from 1982 to 1989. Beginning in 1989, he worked at the University of California, San Diego, as professor of pharmacology and professor of chemistry and biochemistry, and as an investigator of the Howard Hughes Medical Institute, Chen contributed to the fields of cell biology and neurobiology by discovering genetically programmable fluorescent tags, thereby allowing scientists to watch the behavior of molecules in living cells in real time. He also developed fluorescent indicators of calcium ions and other ions important in biological processes. In 2004, Chen was awarded the Wolf Prize in Medicine for his seminal contribution to the design and biological application of novel fluorescent and photolabile molecules to analyze and perturb cell signal transduction. In 2008, Chen shared the Nobel Prize in Chemistry with Osamu Shimamura and Martin Chalfi for the green fluorescent protein, discovery, expression and development. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Fluorescent proteins. The multicolored fluorescent proteins developed in Chen's lab are used by scientists to track where and when certain genes are expressed in cells or in whole organisms. Typically, the gene coding for a protein of interest is fused with the gene for a fluorescent protein, which causes the protein of interest to glow inside the cell when the cell is irradiated with ultraviolet light and allows microscopists to track its location in real time. This is such a popular technique that it has added a new dimension to the fields of molecular biology, cell biology, and biochemistry. Since the discovery of the wild type GFP, numerous different mutants of GFP have been engineered and tested. The first significant leap forward was a single point mutation S65T, reported by Chen in 1995 in Nature. This mutation dramatically improved the fluorescent both intensity and photostability and spectral characteristics of GFP. 
A shift of the major excitation peak to 488 nm with the emission peak staying at 509 nm thus can be clearly observed, which matched very well the spectral characteristics of commonly available FITC facilities. All these then largely amplified the practicality of using GFP by scientists in their research. Chen mainly contributed to much of our understanding of how GFP works and for developing new techniques and mutants of GFP. Former trainees of Roger Y. Chen include Atsushi Miyawaki and Alice Y. Tang. Timelines of GFP development involved by Chen 1994, Chen showed the mechanism that GFP chromophore is formed in a chemical reaction which requires oxygen but without help from the other proteins. 1994–1998, Chen and collaborators made various GFP mutants by genetic modification and structural tweaking. Newly created variants of GFP can shine more brightly and show different colors, such as yellow, cyan, and blue. 2000–2002, Chen produced monomeric variants of DS Red, which can glow in shades of red, pink, and orange. Remarkably, since then complicated macromolecular networks of living organisms can be labeled or marked by using all the colors of the rainbow. Other detailed highlights involved by Chen 2002, the critical structural difference between GFP and DS Red was revealed. One extra double bond in the chromophore of DS Red extends its conjugation thus causes the red shift. 2002, monomeric DS Red MRFP was first developed. 2004, new fruit FPs were generated by in vitro and in vivo directed evolutions. In 2009, a new kind of infrared fluorescent protein IFP was developed by Chen's group, and further reported and described by science. The new IFPs are developed from bacterial phytochromes instead of from multicellular organism like jellyfish. Under normal conditions, bacterial phytochromes absorb light for signaling instead of fluorescence, but they can be turned fluorescent after deleting some of the signaling parts by genetic means such as site-directed mutagenesis. In order to fluoresce, IFPs require an exogenous chromophore, boliviridin. In 2016, a new class of fluorescent protein was evolved from a cyanobacterial Trichodesmium erythrium phycobiloprotein, alpha aliphicocyanin, and named small ultra red fluorescent protein SMURF. SMURF autocatalytically self incorporates the chromophore boliviridin without the need of an external protein, known as a lyase. Jellyfish and coral-derived fluorescent proteins require oxygen and produce a stoichiometric amount of hydrogen peroxide upon chromophore formation. Smurf does not require oxygen or produce hydrogen peroxide and uses the chromophore, boliviridin. Smurf has a large extinction coefficient 180,000 m1 cm1 and has a modest quantum yield 0.20, which makes it comparable biophysical brightness to EGFP and approximately two-fold brighter than most red or far red fluorescent proteins derived from coral. Smurf's spectral properties are similar to the organic dye Psi-5. Topic: <laughs> Calcium imaging. Chen was a pioneer of calcium imaging and known for developing various dyes which become fluorescent in the presence of particular ions such as calcium. One such dye, Fura-2, is widely used to track the movement of calcium within cells. Indo-1, another popular calcium indicator, was also developed by Chen's group in 1985. He has also developed fluorescent indicators for other ions such as magnesium, zinc, copper, iron, lead, cadmium, aluminum, nickel, cobalt, and mercury. Acorin is also a useful tool to indicate calcium level inside cells, however, it has some limitations, primarily as that its prosthetic group cholenterazine is consumed irreversibly when emits light, thus requires continuous addition of cholenterazine into the media. To overcome such issues, Chen's group also developed the calmodulin-based sensor, named Chameleon. Topic. Flash EDT2 Flash EDT2 is a biochemical method for specific covalent labeling inside live cells. It's a method based on recombinant protein molecules, and was developed by Chen and his colleagues in 1998. Flash EDT2 Fluorescein arsenical helix binder, bis EDT adduct. EDT 1, 2 ethane to the all. Fluorescence assisted cancer surgery 
Mouse experiments by Chen's group suggest that cancer surgery can be guided and assisted by fluorescent peptides. The peptides are used as probes, and are harmless to living tissues and organs. Their lifetime in the body is only four or five days. Clinical trials are awaited. Topic. Industrial activities Chen was also a notable biochemical inventor and holds or co-holds about 100 patents till 2010. In 1996, Chen co-founded the Aurora Biosciences Corporation, which went public in 1997. In 2001, Aurora was acquired by the Vertex Pharmaceuticals. Similarly, Chen was also a scientific co-founder of Cenomics in 1999, Dr. Chen also promoted science education to promising young scientists through the first ever San Diego Science Festival lunch with a laureate program. Topic: <laughs> Personal life. According to the Qian Chen clan genealogy book, Chen is a 34th generational descendant of King Qian Lu of the Wuyue Kingdom of Ancient China. His family belongs to the line of King Qian Hongzong. Chen's parents Hsue Chu Chen and Yi Ying Li Li Yi Ying came from Hangzhou and Beijing, respectively. Chen had a number of engineers in his extended family, including his father Hsue Chu Chen who was an MIT-educated mechanical engineer and his mother's brothers Y.T. Li Li Yao Zi and Shi Haing Li, Li Shi Ying who were engineering professors at MIT. Chen's mother Yi Ying Li was a nurse. The famous rocket scientist Chen Hsue Shen, regarded as the co-founding father of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory of the California Institute of Technology and, later, the director of the Chinese Ballistic Missile and Space Programs, is a cousin of Chen's father. Chen was the younger brother of Richard Chen, a renowned scientist currently at New York University, and Louis Chen, a software engineer. Chen, who called his own work molecular engineering, once said, I'm doomed by heredity to do this kind of work. He was married to Wendy Globe. Topic. Death On August 31, 2016, a press release by UC San Diego announced the death of Professor Chen. He died on August 24, 2016. Although the actual cause of death is yet to be determined, he seemed to have died while on a bike trail in Eugene, Oregon. Prior to his death, Chen had survived cancer and suffered a stroke in 2013. He was ahead of us all, said Chen's wife, Wendy. He was ever the adventurer, the pathfinder, the free and soaring spirit. Courage, determination, creativity and resourcefulness were hallmarks of his character. He accomplished much. He will not be forgotten. Topic. Awards and honors. Roger Y. Chen has received numerous honors and awards in his life, including topic. Named lectures and lectureships topic. References topic. External links Media related to Roger Chen at Wikimedia Commons